everybody, it's Kaylin here at Full Purpose and Heart with another homeschool update video for you. We have just completed our 17th week of school, so I have, I think, about three weeks that I need to catch up on on um, how things are going in our school. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so if you are new to my channel and are just now tuning in, welcome. My name is Kaylin, and we have one kindergartner that we have just started homeschooling this year, and we are using the Horizons curriculum for math as well as for English, or I guess it's like English language arts, we call it. Um, I also have some science that I'm going through using um, the Carson DeLosa interactive notebook just as kind of a base for me, and then I'm also kind of interjecting some other fun curriculum things that I'm doing along with my preschool kids that I'm teaching so he kind of gets some art and some um, social studies and things like that. So I just wanted to kind of update you on how things are going and um, just kind of some positive and a few negatives uh, with some of our subjects. So the first one kind of touching base again with my curriculum like I like to do with all of my update videos. Um, the Let's start with math. I still am very pleased with math and it's going really well. Um, we, I've actually added in some math drills. I've just been doing this on like a piece of binder paper in addition to the math that he's been doing. Since the math is going pretty quickly, almost all of his math lessons require him to do um, math like addition problems. So this is just um, in addition to that. Uh, I don't know what word I'm trying to think of. So in addition to his lesson problems that he's doing, I'm trying to kind of reinforce this memorization of math facts. So we've been doing math facts for all of like the ones family and the twos family, and we're kind of moving into the threes family. So here is just an example. This was the ones family. And again, I just, um, you can put C in the corner here, I put C. So I had A, B, and C, and the A was um, a little bit different so that it was um, more elementary, I guess, for lack of a better explanation. And then my B was a little bit more like a step up, and then my C was just the straight math facts, both horizontal and vertical. So um, I've kind of added that into his curriculum, but we mostly just stick to the lesson um, page, and I don't do a, well, during preschool, he does like some added curriculum, but for the most part, we just stick to the lesson page. So um, in addition to that, I do have like math facts, and then we've been doing some measurements right now because we've been working on like what is the perimeter of certain objects and rulers and inches and things like that. Um, I'm still using a lot of pages from that money um packet or a bundle that I I got from Teachers Pay Teachers, I purchased it. So I'll put that in the description box below um, of the money bundle. And I mentioned it a couple videos back. So you'll have to kind of, I'll link the video above and you can kind of see what I've been doing for that. So we have been practicing money, but other than that, um, the lesson material, material has been really great and I'm super, super satisfied with it. And I'm very likely to both recommend it to other people as well as use it again for my next um, kindergartner that's coming up the line. So as far as my English language arts, I still have um, positive reviews for that and I would recommend it to other people. Um, at the end of the school year, I will do an overall um, curriculum review, just kind of of the whole thing so that you don't have to like piecemeal all of these videos together in the end um, about how I have felt about doing this curriculum. But the English language arts, um, I feel like it's kind of a roller coaster type of a curriculum for me. Um, there are moments when I really like it and I feel like it's a great resource for learning different um, rules for reading and um, language arts and things like that. And there's other times where we kind of dip down and I'm not as um, excited about it or enthralled with it. So um, I, I like pick out specific activities in each lesson for him to do and then we skip some as well. So. Um, I think it is a really good curriculum for writing as well as learning like phonics and things. But, you know, like for example, this week, excuse me, this last week we learned um, a couple of blends. So he had, excuse me, he had SM and then SN, so SM as in small and SN as in snail. And um, we've been doing these consonant blends for a really, really long time that learning the actual, um, 
the blend itself isn't something that he understands the rule and so it's easy for him to read the words. Um, I understand that lots of the lesson activities that they've put in each lesson are to teach other concepts such as alphabet alphabet alphabetizing alphabetization is that a word anyway alphabetizing um and then putting in what are some other skills oh right now we are doing like quotations and commas and periods like punctuation they teach um and they also teach just like less um sentence structure so like there is our handwriting lessons involved in them but um i don't know it just kind of is an up and down curriculum for me would i use it again potentially um Probably, again, I don't hate it, but I'm excited to see what other materials are out there the next time that I um, plan, I'm planning on going to like a homeschool conference and, and the curriculum fair and stuff that's there just to kind of see what other curriculums are available because I'm not dissatisfied with it. I'm just not like rainbows and sunshines about it. As if you've watched my other videos is a common thread with that curriculum. So so that's that. Um, as I've mentioned before, we have been doing um, interactive notebooks and they've been kind of hit or miss. At the beginning of the school year, like over the summer, I spent hours and hours of time um, creating an interactive notebook curriculum for that kind of went along with the Horizons curriculum. And um, I, being inexperienced in interactive notebooks, most of the pages are the same. I think I rotated through five different activities because there were five days a week and I thought, well, we could do these five different activities. But now we're in week 18, we've just finished 17 weeks. And as I've said before, it's been kind of hit or miss. Um, he does still do them because we do them with the preschool kids who are doing an alphabet interactive notebook. I'm all excited about that and raves about that. So I feel like at a preschool age, it's been really great um, at a kindergarten level to kind of correlate with the Horizons material and just kind of what I built in general is just kind of wah wah. So I don't know. So that's been kind of hit or miss as um, is a common thread in these update videos. Um, as far as our reading goes we have um, this horizons reading book and i mentioned in my last one my last update video that we had kind of incorporated some of the scholastic easy readers um with and it had like a scooby-doo theme so that was really great and wonderful but uh then we read all those books twice and then it was kind of you know so it's good for the moment but then we didn't have them anymore um so we're back to reading the reader and it's not as exciting we probably read one of these stories a week and then outside we just do outside reading so we just go to the library and get outside reading materials so that they're just more exciting and um, I feel like it practices the same concepts as these books do and so um, anyway so that's kind of how our reading has been um, this has been our Bible time we kind of went back to this I took a break um, from it for a while but now we're kind of back so we do this once a week and um or excuse me once a day in the morning and it's it's a good little conversation and a good review now we're coming up into um, the december weeks and so we'll take another rest from this and we're gonna um focus more on the christmas story and i have um these little well i was gonna grab them but i just have like little sticks that have the characters of the christmas story so the three wise men the angels the shepherds like lambs joseph mary baby jesus that sort of thing um so anyway so we kind of play with those and tell the story in different ways um over and over again but so um so anyway that's kind of been our bible time and it's been going well I think that that kind of covers where we are with our, oh, science. So we just finished Habitats and it wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be. I was trying to uh, make like a poster with or like a digraph, I guess you could call it, or a diagram that you would call it. Anyway, with um, several of the different um, habitats, but we just ran out of time. So we kind of did a no KWL chart, no want to know and learned chart um, about each of it. And we just kind of talked about ha what habitats were. And then in the last week, we did the very last first time five in a row story. And um, that kind of helped with the kind of a tundra habitat and the Arctic habitat. So anyway, we kind of talked about that a little bit. I wouldn't say it was a great unit. I kind of 
am looking into some different units, especially um, starting in January. I'm thinking about um, hitting up another publisher to try and see if I can um, find some interest in what they have because I've been watching some YouTube videos on the good and the beautiful. So I'm thinking about maybe um, investing in something like that to kind of interject. And then we also have some social studies units that we're going to be starting in January. So I am excited about that. Our curriculum will be a little bit more diverse um, and and I'm excited. So anyway, as far as homeschool in general, I have really, really loved it. And it was about this time last year that I was considering whether or not I was going to homeschool at all um, because it's usually public schools begin registration in about January. So anyway, I was very, I'm very pleased and very happy and it has had way more benefits. I haven't had any bad days and I know that those days come kind of February or March, but hopefully I can go back and watch these videos myself and be like, oh, it has been good. I have enjoyed it. So anyway. That's kind of how homeschool is going. Thanks so much for watching this update. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. We have a big campaign coming up or big, I'm calling it like a project, I guess, in 2018. It's called 2018 Elevated. And um, I'm really excited about that. And each of the weeks is gonna have a new um project that we can work on and each month is got different challenges to kind of spread out our goals throughout the course of 12 months in a year instead of packing them all into one day or on one piece of paper and then kind of trying tackling it that way. So anyway, I'm really excited. So subscribe to my channel because there will be lots of good things happening with the 2018 Elevated. I'll keep in touch with you about my curriculum and our homeschooling journey and preschool life and all of the things that are going on in our neck of the woods. Thanks so much for listening. Listening, guys, and we'll talk to you in another video.